Today is a very special day. We have been invited inside this building here to see what could be the biggest motoring story ever. This unassuming building is in fact Petrolhead Heaven. It's the inner sanctum of legendary car designer Gordon Murray. He says he's designed the car of the future, and we believe him. Why? Because his track record is impeccable. He is the father of the mighty McLaren F1, the 240 mile an hour supercar that stood for 10 years as the fastest car in the world. Tiff maintains it's still the greatest car in history, as he will now articulate. So, what does the future face of transport look like? I give you the T25. A far cry from Mr. Murray's previous creation. So, first things first, Gordon, why is it so small? 85% of all journeys in this country, which are business or commuting, are single occupancy. And you don't need two and a half tons of motor car to, to do that. The T25 is a masterpiece in packaging. It's about half the size of an average car, but it's got all the safety features we've come to demand, like airbags, side impact protection and crumple zones. It's also a three-seater with the driver sat in the middle for the best visibility, just like in the McLaren F1 car. It's narrow enough for two of these cars to go side by side along the motorway, and it's small enough for three of them to fit in a standard parking bay. The passenger seats can be folded into various configurations and, when totally flat, can fit six shopping trolleys worth of stuff inside. Can you tell me what made you have that fantastic sort of clamshell front door to it? Well, if you don't have a door swing, it means you can park them only a foot apart. The other thing was loading a child into a child seat in the rear seat without bending your back and getting in without ducking under a roof into the central part of the car. So it solved lots of problems. Um, and it's a bit funky as well. It is indeed. Mm. But what happens when it's absolutely teeming down with rain, though? You, you have need to get a in and out. You need a brolly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a flippant reply, but we have made sure that all the materials we've sourced for the interior come from, like, wetsuit supplies and stuff, so it's all wiped down. So it is a drawback, but the advantages are enormous. The T25 weighs just 575 kilograms, which is at least 175 kilos less than a smart car. And let me tell you, lightness is the key to all good things. Gordon is obsessive about weight saving. Even the spanners in the F1's toolkit were made of titanium to help shed precious grams. In racing, it absolutely shows, you know, one kilogram is a few tenths of a second in a lap, so that's, that's the proof, if you like. But in road cars, it's, it's mainly about efficiency. The fuel consumption and the CO2 and emissions, it just tumble with weight. It's, it's directly proportional. And so the engine, it is a three-cylinder petrol unit with just 51 brake horsepower, which doesn't sound a lot, but because the car is so light, its power-to-weight ratio is better even than a two-litre standard family car. So Murray's little motor will still hit 90 miles an hour. Just as innovative is the way the T25 will be made in a factory that's 80% smaller than a normal car plant. Gordon calls this process iStream. In very simple terms, we're talking flat-pack cars. Twelve times as many T25s can fit in a shipping container, saving fuel and carbon emissions. And because the factories where the cars are assembled are so clean and quiet and small, they can fit right next to the showroom, so there aren't any distribution costs. I had to look at the whole way of making a car, from digging the, the ore out of the ground and smelting it and making the tools, uh, things like distribution and transport, shipping containers. You know, shipping's really very, very dirty from an emissions point of view. We've really invented a new way of making cars. The McLaren was famous for using materials not normally associated with cars. For example, gold is the best reflector of heat, so it lined the engine bay. The same philosophy is used in the T25. We've scoured the world for low-cost materials from other industries that can give you you know, levels of Formula One safety in a, in a small vehicle. The body is, in fact, upcycled plastic bottles, so that's, that's been recycled once and can be recycled again at the end of its life. These days, cars do 100,000, 200,000 miles. It's the body that gives up. 
there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't rebody the car after 10 years and keep the rolling gear. And that's the ultimate recycling, is not to scrap. A typical T25 will cost around £6,500, with running costs 40% cheaper than a Mini. But Gordon isn't actually going to make the T25. Instead, he's going to sell the plans to other companies. 15 businesses from 12 different countries are interested, and they're not just car companies. For the people who are not car manufacturers, we have a huge global manufacturing partner who will go and make the car for them so they don't have the worry of you know, setting up the factory and actually even running the factory. Can you imagine if someone like Apple started making these? It would frighten the old guard car industry to death. Being a perfectionist, Gordon Murray wouldn't let me drive his prototype, but the man is a living legend. And I'm convinced that the T25 and the iStream technology behind it will achieve equal status within the motor industry soon.